thanks for taking the time to speak to me. Um, Thank you. Really enjoying season two, and um, congrats on the renewal. So Thank you. Thank you. I went back to prepare to watch and watch season one again, and I noticed a lot of coughing, mask wearing, loss of sense of, sense of smell and taste, and uh, and you're locked in one place. It seems like you predict, predicted the future. Uh, how has COVID <laughs> changed your perspective of the show as a, as a whole? Uh, well, we, we were locked down after shooting. Uh, we were on the sixth episode, or just, just finishing up the sixth episode when, when we all went on lockdown, uh, which started at the beginning of the year. And then six months later, we came back and, and finished out those last four in a, in a quarantined bubble. Um, and I think we were lucky, right? We were lucky that we got to to do that because of how small our, our cast is and how tight-knit the crew is and they're local and, you know, um, that we have a, a one location pretty much to shoot. They made some adjustments in the script and, and we were lucky. Yeah, I mean, part of the... It's kind of amazing, actually, that our our the fact that our we have a small family isolated in one location is what gave us the ability to go back, even in this pandemic, and and continue our work. Um, but yeah, it's 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 uh, definitely it was it was on my mind as we were shooting um, recently and finishing season two, all in quarantine, living in a bubble and working together. That here we were making something about people who. Are trapped in a house. It's a lot of coincidence. A coincidence. Yeah. Um, so the characters are constantly evolving and re revealing more about themselves. How uh, have your characters changed for season two? Well, Dorothy. Dorothy seems to come into her power a bit and uh, strength, and is often misguided. Uh, but she, she, I guess you know, she has a very clear directive, which is to find her lost baby. And, um, yeah, and then I get into all kinds of crazy power struggles with Leanne. So there's uh, less vulnerability and more strength. And so that was interesting and challenging and fun to explore and play. Yeah, and, and Sean kind of wants to know uh, more answers. He feels more lost because of the physical things that are occurring with him with the loss of smell and taste, which was of course, so uh, prevalent in the real world. And then uh, actually his, his loss of sense of feeling, you know, so that he, he has this huge blister on his hand that he has to cope with. He, he's looking for answers. And I think that, uh, thankfully, I don't think he takes the bait ultimately, but um, it, it leads him down a dangerous path of listening to, you know, outside forces than, other than himself. What's your favorite moment of this series so far? In series two. I, I, you know, I like that they brought in comedy. I like that they made the show darker uh, in its uh, whole, in, in its entirety. But they made, they made more more humor available to us. I thought that was great, and and I loved making, you know, a thousand pizzas. <laughs> and one last question for both of you: What are three words that you would describe this season? Lauren. Toby. <laughs> um, okay, uh, let's see. Darker. Horror. Yeah. Yeah. Backstory. Exhilarating. What was that one? I said backstory because I feel like we kind of get we kind of yeah. lean into yeah. what what the past is and a little we get more clues yeah. into the reveal. Mystery. Yeah, there's a lot of nice reveal. I agree. I agree. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your time. I'm really enjoying the show, and congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, Steven. Have a great day.